All right, so this next question we're going to look at is complicated. I think this is a really tough one, but there are definitely parts of it that are very doable. The tough part comes right at the end. Um, let's give it a read through. Nicola wants to put a flat roof on a bike store. The roof will be made of concrete and in the shape of a cuboid as shown. Nicola wants to put metal strips along two of the longest edges of the roof. She knows the density of concrete is 2,300 kilograms per meter cubed. Don't worry about that yet. And the mass of one meter of the metal strip is five kilograms. Work out the total mass of the concrete and the strips that she wants. Okay, first very doable bit that we can do is to work out how much the metal strips weigh. So the metal strips go along two of the longest edges of the roof. This is the longest edge of the roof. Uh, and there are four edges that are that length. It doesn't matter which two, but two of them are going to have this metal strip. So altogether, we are going to need two lots of 3.5. Um, we are going to need seven meters of the metal strip. And we know that one meter is five kilograms. So seven meters is seven lots of five kilograms. So the metal strip is going to be 35 kilograms. So that is the strip. Uh, weight, the strip weight. But the other big part of the weight comes from the mass of the concrete, um, which is, which comes from the volume of how much concrete you need. So the next thing we're going to need to work out is the volume of this cuboid. But there's something else we need to do first before we can work out the volume, which is to convert this one unit. They've given us the length is in meters, the depth in meters, but the height is in centimeters. So what we're going to need to do is convert that first into meters so that we can then work out the volume. Now we know that one meter is 100 centimeters and we're going from centimeters into meters which tells me I need to divide by 100. So I need to take my 12 centimeters and divide it by 100. Divided by 100 is 0.12. So every time we see 12 centimeters we mean 0.12 meters. It's got to be the same unit so we can work out the volume. Next, we can work out the volume. Now the volume of a cuboid is base times width times height. Um, it, it's different for other shapes, but for a cuboid, base times width times height. It's a bit like area but in 3D, because area of a rectangle is base times height. But 3D, base times height times depth. So we're gonna times all these three things together. So we have got two times 3.5 times 0.12. Uh, that is the volume of the cuboid. But that hasn't helped us yet work out how heavy it is. Let me just make a note. Vol of cuboid. Good. But that hasn't yet helped us work out the mass of the concrete. What we know is that the density of the concrete, which is written over here, density of the concrete is 2,300 kilograms per meter cubed. And this formula tells us that density is mass divided by volume. Well, we know the density is 2,300. We don't know the mass, but we do know that the volume is what we just worked out, it's 0.84. So the mass divided by 0.84 is 2,300. And the way we actually get mass from here, there, there are different ways of doing it, and it depends how you think on which way is gonna make the most sense to you. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna explain it a certain way, and this might not make sense to you, and there are certainly other ways of explaining it, so if you have access to it and you're not sure, you're welcome to like ask uh, a teacher, uh, depending on how and when you're watching this video. Um, but if the mass divided by 0.84 is 2,300, then I want to have it not divided by 0.84. So I want to have the mass by itself, which means the mass, if it's not divided by 0.84, then it's going to be 2,300 times 0.84. It's going to be 8.4 times that mass. Uh, another way of thinking about it is that that density is how much a metre cubed would weigh. But I don't have a whole metre cubed. I've only got 0.84 metres cubed, so it's going to weigh 0.84 times as much. And the way I just described it now is how it makes more sense to me. Um, I don't have a whole meter cubed. I've only got 0.84 meters cubed. So it weighs 0.84 lots of what a meter cubed would. So it's 0.84 times 2,300. So in the calculator, let's do that calculation. 2,300 is what a whole meter cubed would be. I don't have a whole meter cubed. I've only got 0.84 of one. So I multiply those together. And that is the mass of the concrete. 
So that's the hard bit. Um, there's only one last thing we need to do. We need to add together the weight of the metal strips, which are only 35 kilograms. And we need to add to that the weight of the um, concrete, which is way, way heavier. And we just add those together. So we plus onto that the 35 kilograms for the metal strips to get 1,967. And that is the total mass of the concrete and strips. One, nine, six, seven. So lots of that question, it's a tricky one. It's, it's a hard question, but my advice is always to try and find the things that you can do. So working out the weight of the strips, really quite straightforward. The strips are along two of the longest edges. We know how long the edges are, so that's seven meters that you'll need. And we know that one meter is five kilos. And if one meter is five kilos, then seven meters is seven times as much, so 35 kilos. Um, after that, it does start getting harder, so you'd have to spot that you've got to turn the centimeters into meters to start working out the volume. And you've got to know that you do base times width times height to find the volume of a cuboid. And then the really nasty bit is using that density formula to find the mass when you've got the density and the volume. But hopefully one of those ways of explaining made sense. I um, hope that helped. Tricky question. I suppose on to the next one.